So guys, my name is Ansiesta, and in this video, I want to show you Auto Pass map. Um, I'm drinking Red Bull, so sorry for that, but let's go into it. <coughs> so, we already made a lot of other maps, so we can just check it in my playlist and watch it and give some support and uh, learn something new. And Auto Pass is actually a really hard map, but it's my favorite map on Face It. Why? Because nobody knows how to play it. <laughs> and that's pretty easy, right? Um, it's really hard, actually. Um, but on the other hand, it's really easy if you learn it. And that's the reason. I after you watch this video, uh, if you're not playing like some Bianca position, because that's kind of the same, right? Then you will learn something, definitely. Uh, so let's start with the anchor points, okay? Anchor points are the most, like, the most uh, important things on maps. I think the most important thing is short. If CT is having short, it's so easy for CTs to win. If T is having short, it's so easy for T's to win. Next is con, as well as for T's. That's basically the same. The point with the con is that it's basically um, crossing i guess crossing the areas between b and a right so you can fake you can rotate stuff like this so con is really needed to help have and uh, for cts obviously mid this thing and for t's obviously the opposite of it which is this this mid control right um and as you can see t is having a really big time to need to clear a lot of angles and obviously on T side, I'll help you with that a lot because uh, I'll try to show you some pathing that is working on face a lot. So let's start with CTs first. So I want to start with A uh, because on A there is a lot of things. So uh, let's start with the A anchor. Okay, you have A anchor, A support, um, rotation, B short, B monster. So let's start with A anchor. A anchor is op, by the way. Okay, so A anchor. A anchor is the player if you are playing op. You need to play anchor. Anchor is a player that is last on site, jump spotting dice while everyone is on B, right? Let's say this way. That way so you understand it. So op is basically the, the guy that needs to decide something. And that's if he's playing with his teammate or not. Okay? That's so important. You need to be prepared for the game. You 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 need to like know that your teammates don't know anything, right? And that's the point. So um important thing is that if you're playing with your duo mate right it's so easy but if you're playing alone then you need to play by yourself so what i like to do is that i like to jump uh, just jiggling right from divider uh, for info and there's a lot of things like if they smoke the toilet which they probably will you can go on those chairs right there uh, and you can maybe spot a gap because sometimes there is a gap on up towards the rest party so you can you can see it or you can he it you know uh, you will get a kill, then then you going back. Maybe you can go on this radio to hold cross like this. You get a kill, you fall him back. Uh, you will smoke divider. You sneak up into it, kill toilets, and then fall back to the side. You have two kills. You kind of won the round, right? Uh, you can take this angle on banana, which is strong. You need to be creative. That's important. And uh, play. Be smart. Play around this. You know, so you you falling back, you regressing, you falling back, you regressing. That's the pattern that you should have. You can go obviously um, long if you want. Sometimes um, you can play from long toilets if you want, and you can even take mid. That's also the option. But this is the option when your teammate is teammate and not the enemy, right? Because I <laughs> I played a lot of games when the player just the the support, right? That should support me he was just going con all the time and don't communicate with me so that was the thing when i said okay i need to play passive a bit more right when you're playing with your mate it's really fun uh because he's supporting you so you can do a lot of things uh, he can throw you this combo i'll, I'll mention it uh, when i will tell after the a support you'll throw this combo right there the smoke meta and uh, molly playground and you can fight fountain right having fountain then you can go playground and you have the whole control you're just fighting fighting right so stuff like this you can do and if you have a op it's really easy just watch demos of operas and you will find so many things 
there is a new angles um, play around toilets you know so for example you you're holding this angle you get a kill on front and then you reposition holding this you get a kill you falling back to side and you regressing banana get a kill falling back to dice you have three kills playing dice boom 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 just spawning okay see boom and then long boom <laughs> and stuff like this right um so this is just um heaven for opera's okay or how to say i don't know yeah heaven something like this right um important important to know play op rotate be unpredictable and kill them that's that's the plan as an a support um a support is basically the best thing is to throw this combo i already did video kind of recently you smoke meta uh and then molly playground and you're supporting your teammate you can go con play connect right uh some some good angles there definitely you can play with your mate uh playing some setups i can show one thing i already made video uh, on setups so you can watch it but the fanatic setup uh, support player playing like this and then we have Oprah playing on those chairs and holding mid like this so if he gets a kill then he can fall back he can smoke it off uh he can smoke it off like this right and then this guy has this off angle that these will not check it right so that's like a fanatic se setup that you can do and there is a lot of other setups so just watching my youtube videos and you will get this knowledge of over the past uh let's go and be be cz uh be monster player uh you need to obviously smoke someone need to smoke deep monster uh be monster player should be rotation okay be monster player mulling monster maybe aging go, going close and his job is so nobody will push early and after right i like this position this barrels on barrels okay not behind uh, it's good or going on the right side you know and like playing no fear like a donk front gage boom fighting having 50 50 duel uh you can be behind pillar you can play this position railing is new one right there so yeah, a lot of new stuff uh, as a short player you want to take short so if you're going from abc you want to molly short pipe you want to smoke the smoke the molly right there and communicate with your teammate and just take short because on face it's so easy taking short every round they don't know how to counter it he's condors fight con and that's the thing as a short player you're so important you need to stay alive because you will have this you'll have so big responsibility if you will have those two anchor points every round you won you win the game if a players are not dumb so that's the point and as a rotation player um this guy needs to set up those two players to be in their prime position which means for short player is to have short and con and for monster player a uh, monster player is to have monster right which is easy so rotation player is supporting short player most of the times rotating them back and then uh holding long right so that's basically the job of of the rotation player um yeah that's pretty much it i don't know what to say more let's go on this side these are more more complex and really depends what teammates you have but i'll try to explain so you need to take short every round as a t you need to take short it's so much important the worst thing is that nobody wants to do it uh so obviously two best pawns going short uh second player is smoking the molly in the short pipe right here you know the classic thing uh first guy just running second guy trading third guy right here baiting <laughs> and uh flashing for for teammates basically then we have one more guy which playing con uh and then we have one more guy which playing mid right this is like a default thing on, on face i would say uh it's pretty easy you can have different things right you don't need to have con players sometimes uh if if they're not approaching con or if they're heavy approaching con then you can go with him on mid uh but let's say this is the default so you have short and then this guy holding like back behind so they don't need to worry about con right um let's say you're a con player because those players are 
are like on B and it's kind of like nothing, right? They tank short, they hold monster, they hold short push and they may be exec or going A. So there is nothing to talk about, okay? Maybe you can boost right here to see, but that's basically pretty much it, right? Um, if you're a con player, there's something interesting like uh, you can mold the boom, boom, boom like this stairs. You can check those cross angles. And after you check hold the con, what is really good is that if you don't have short, let's say those two uh, players dies or you you are not uh, they are not taking short you can go you can sell boost I made a video on this you can sell boost and from the sell boost you can see from those window this cross right there okay so you have like this vision it's so OP because you can catch so like I catch so many people on face when I'm using this trans so it's really OP and also what I like is that as a con player uh, if you want to go out of A you will flash off this lamp right there and it will pop right there and you can pick banana safely and then obviously you can search up on it uh, on con uh, I mean on banana and stuff like this and as an A player if you're alone on A okay you're you're alone you need to play passive just play passive if there is smoke in mid like this you wanna find gaps on, on top right if they don't have op if they have op I would just play full passive but normally you just jiggling try to get some entry and nothing crazy and then rotate to them or progress through if they have con and they have mid right uh, but sometimes the con player you can call him to go instantly playground and I also forgot one more thing if you're playing alone you can start playground and just hold monk that's also really good uh, but the other point you can call the con player to not play con if it's not like needed and to go playground and hold you long okay so hold you long like this for push and then you as a mid player you will he or or flash or throw some utility on mid and you fighting 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 you you going in and you peek peek toilet right uh, you jump spot so you will not get shot from banana and then you peek banana and you have this space right y if you want to play a m bit more safe uh, you can smoke toilets you can molly banana male 09 combo I call it like this so it's pretty good as well and you you can safely clear it then you can clear r you can uh, reverse clear con right so you have con you can take short with your mates after that and um, after you have this uh, you can basically do something, okay? So I want to show you two things, last two things, okay? And then I will end this video. And first thing is around toilets and second thing is around monk. So basically a lot of things are individual and you need to experience by yourself. And there is not much to talk about, but I want to still show you some. So the path thing from this is that what I saw is that you can go on this chair right there or what's that? and you j jump spot dice okay you jump spot dice you like strafe from this chair to divider so you jump spot this thing all the thing and you strafe to it you check all the toilet angle you know uh, you check this angle as well from this you falling back you can check long toilets if you want um, and your job you can flash even if you want and your job is to cross to generator and if it's possible silently that that's the best uh, possible scenario if you're right here this is <laughs> this is insane um, people don't expect it they, they they literally don't expect it and the best thing is that you have all info because um, in the environment you can't go to this position okay like early like this because uh, people like they, they don't they will not give up um, this space pretty easily right so uh, that's the thing and you can hear every step on B every step on A and the best thing is that if they pressure B you can hear how many rotated and then you can okay one jump spotting dice one rotated okay uh, then you peek you kill jump spot dice and you know that it's clear and they can go A and you win the round so this position right here try to get there every round and then on long if you have a long uh, I don't want to tell how to clear it so easy um, there is like a thing on Facey that is working every time. You want to jump spot on this boost, I mean jump on this boost. And if this is clear and this is clear as well, you want to make a step like this. Okay, so you fall down, right? 
you fall down and you're walking right there on the right side. I'll tell you the reason. So if you're a CT, most CTs are jump spotting dice. And if there are jump spotting dice, they jump spotting dice like this, and then going on this like a uh, car spot, it, it calls spot position, and they jump spot like this. So they they see, they see this, okay? They see this thing. But they don't see this right side thing. And if you time it well, you can get to this sneaky gap and you can actually really insane win the round, okay? That means you sneak up, you sneak up, and you hear the jump spot. And you can time it well that he jump spot and he's running and you sh and you peek and you surprise him, kill him, and then easy you won a round. So this is the thing that wins me <laughs> a lot of face hits uh, on overpass. So abuse all the things. I hope it will help. Maybe I missed something, sorry for that, but yeah, I think this is a really good guide. Um Yeah, and I think that's crazy. Play mid, play mid. If you if you wanna be impactful, play mid or play sh short basically. And that's it, right? So yeah, that's all. Hope you having a great day and see you next video. Bye.